bitch I wanna and young Weezy, man, this shit too easy. Different bitch for every season, showing me they clean. It's your boy Dante, and we're about the title today. I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make gallery depth flare jeans, or just flare jeans, you know? So, um, before we do get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new, turn them post notices on. So, you know, you could you can see when I'm uploading some more content. Uh, I do not have the jeans, so I'm gonna be going to Walmart and I'm gonna take y'all with me. So it's gonna be like a little vlog too. So, yeah, I'll see y'all at Walmart. Alright y'all, we did just get to Walmart, um, I'm at the jeans right now, I think I'm finna go with a light blue pair and a black pair, so, see I'm telling y'all, Emily, Emily, $10, so why is my camera not focusing, they're not focusing, but, um, yeah, so, I'm finna pick these jeans out, and then, what? be cool, gosh, alright, so, we did find a black pair, and I'm gonna go with this light blue pair too, so, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna catch y'all when I get back to the crib -o. Hi guys. Alright y'all, so, um, it, it's another day, and you're probably like, you were just wearing shorts. Um, why do you have winter clothes on? Because, uh, it went from being 80 degrees to a fucking rainstorm within, I think, like two days. But yeah, so I'm at home um, eating. Y'all yeah, should try these. It's pretty good, but uh. I'm back from Walmart. Um, I did only end up picking up the black pants because I have a lot of like regular blue pants. So, I'm like, I might as well save that ten, fifteen dollars, you know, because I have a lot of blue ones. But uh, so I'm gonna be showing y'all what y'all need to make these pants. It's not that much. And I'm gonna show y'all how to make them with the, with the sewing machine and without a sewing machine. So you know, for my niggas that don't got a sewing machine, we still get jiggy. But uh, yeah. All right. So what you're gonna need is obviously the main pair of pants, right? I'm missing some, but you're gonna need the main pair of pants, and you're gonna need the the denim. I'm gonna be cutting this up. Uh, I didn't have gray jeans to like use for fabric for the flare. So I ran to the thrift store and I got these for three dollars because it's half off. You know, thrift store never fills. But you got these gray jeans. So fabric, you're gonna need the jean, the main jeans. You're gonna need the jeans that you're gonna use as fabric. I'm gonna show y'all like how to cut it up in like the right proportion. You're gonna need an exacto knife. Oh no, that's not an exacto knife. You might need that too, but I don't think. But a seam ripper. This is a seam ripper. So. It looks like this if y'all didn't know. But a seam ripper and a pair of fabric scissors, which I'm gonna put a picture because I don't have the fabric scissors by me at the moment. And obviously a sewing machine. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, we're gonna do that. Where's the oh and a glue gun for the glue gun for my glue gun people guys glue gun and we finna get up into making the jeans i'm gonna explain everything so i'll make it easier for y'all make it easy for y'all and uh yeah i hope y'all do enjoy this content so the first way i'm gonna show y'all how to make these flare jeans is gonna be the hot glue gun which is the easiest way to do it but uh before we start like getting into the flare and using a hot glue gun you are gonna need your what is this shit called oh your seam you're gonna need your seam ripper and then at the bottom of your jeans, like you see how it's like this stuff, it's like sewn in. Yeah. Uh, you're going to be wanting to cut this right here, start opening. And then you're just going to want to do that all around. And then after I'm done cutting it all around, I will show you what it is supposed to look like. So we'll be right back. Or I'll probably just fast forward this with you.
All right, y'all, so we are finished cutting the thread. Uh, I did thrift these pants, so like, like they came like a little bit ripped up already on the bottom. But basically, um, after you rip your threads, you're gonna wanna iron like the parts of the jeans. So, hold on, give me one second. All right, y'all, so basically, um, once you, you use the seam ripper and cut all those threads out, it should look like this. I'm gonna be ironing, uh, ironing this part of the pants so it's more flat but it is like tore up because these are thrifted jeans but when i make my black pair it, I'll sh it would be a better example but you're gonna rip these threads and then flap it out like this and then iron it and then we're gonna get into the uh finna get into the next step so yeah all right i forgot one more thing but you're gonna have to do this on both sides obviously but for the people that didn't know uh do it on both sides of the pants so all right, I just got done uh, using a seam ripper for the other side. This is just uh, my dog just, just bust up in my room, like he owned this shit, but like whatever. Uh, this is just another point of view of what it's supposed to look like. This other side wasn't that much ripped, but um, this is what it's supposed to look like. So, like I said, after you're done doing that, just iron this, iron this down until it's flat. And then I'm gonna show y'all what to do after you done iron it. So, all right, y'all. So this is where you're gonna need your pair of scissors. Uh, so basically, after you um, iron this down and cut it and all that, what I, how I told y'all, um, you're basically gonna wanna, um, you know, cut up this behind these, this stitch right here. So you could go up however high you want. I suggest going lower on this side and going higher up on this side. So, uh, I'm gonna cut it and yeah. So once y'all cut your um your like you cut the sides and you got what you want. You know what I'm saying? That's when you're gonna need to get your fab your uh the fabric you're gonna be using to put in here to make the flare, which I'll be showing you. Before you uh put it in here and to make the flare, you are gonna need to repeat the same step and use your seam ripper. I'm trying to hold on. All right, well, you're gonna repeat, you're gonna need to repeat the same set and, uh, oh my fucking God. You're going to need to repeat the same step and cut, use your seam ripper and cut the threads right here so it's like the same as this. So, yeah. All right, y'all, so once you, um, you took this, whatever the fuck this is called, once you cut the thread out of this, this part of the jeans, this is all you're gonna do. You're gonna take this, fold it like so, just perfectly fold it. Flip this over, put this part under the pants, like like in this area, like this. And make sure it's like perfectly aligned so when you're done, it's like part of the pants. But do this. Make sure everything is lined up. Flip this back over. And then this is where the flare comes in. You're going to leave a little bit of extra space. So this part is mostly sticking out. So it's not like this. Like where it's closed off like it was like that. You want to leave a little bit of space. Leave that folded. And then this is where the, um, the hot glue comes. <laughs> oh my god. Hot glue gun comes in. This is this is why this is the easiest way to do it. Well, I'm about to go grab the glue gun. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. Got my glue gun. So obviously you gotta let it get hot first, and then once it gets hot, all you're gonna want to do is for the first line, just go right under this and slowly put glue. Like just every time you put glue, I'm gonna just do it. So get get your let your glue gun get hot. 
once it's hot and you want to start applying the glue um, I don't know why it's not all right y'all so once your glue your glue gun gets hot you want to start slowly applying a, a not not a too thick of a coat of glue and as you're going up just grab your fabric and just push down and then while the glue still hot it's gonna dry up and this is how it sticks so you just keep going up and then once you already have this done you just keep going under it and applying uh, glue and then as you keep going up just keep pushing it down and then yeah it's pretty simple like I said it's the easiest way to do it I would recommend um, if you do have a sewing machine just do that because this glue, the glue will hold up, but eventually over time you might have to re-glue it. Just because, you know, it's not gonna... Like when you throw it in a washer and stuff, it's gonna obviously like... You know, go away eventually. But, yeah. So that's basically all you're gonna wanna do for this side and then this side behind. On this side, you're basically just gonna put glue right here and then just slowly push this down. So yeah, you just gotta do that on each side and then you're done. And then I'll show y'all the final result once I'm done gluing these. So, yeah. Alright y'all, so we did just get done with the flare pants, the hot glue gun version. Um, I'm gonna do like a little b-roll of both pairs when I'm done with them. Uh, like I said, it was pretty simple, nothing too major about it, you know, yeah. Um, but now for my, my, my people that want to learn how to do it with the sewing machine, I'm about to get into that right now. And uh, one thing that I forgot to include, um, you are gonna need pins. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab it. Alright, y'all, I'm back. But uh you are going to need pins. Uh I'm gonna open it and show y'all. You're going to need pins, and pretty much for this whole process with the sewing machine, it's pretty much the same thing. You're gonna do the same steps that we did with the hot glue gun pair. I'm still gonna show y'all like me cutting for you know. And then I'm gonna show y'all what you need to do with these pins, and then yeah, we're gonna get into it. So see y'all. I'll, I'll see y'all when we do the fucking the other pants. Alright y'all, so now we're going to be getting into the portion where we're going to start sewing the pants. But before we sew them, once you have the um, the extra fabric and you're happy like how flared it is. Like if you want a lot of flare or not a lot of flare. However you want to do it, once you have it placed in there. Before we start sewing, you are going... My bad. Let me see. I don't know this shit if in a focus because... Right, you see these? You're going to need these pins... And then like I have up here, you just wanna sew it. And then make sure when you're putting them in, make sure you're getting in between both fabrics. So push it in between both fabrics and then go like this, push it down and then just push it out. And then there, there you go. And then you just wanna go straight up, up here, like all the way to the fabric. And then once you're done, you know, put in, 
putting the fucking what is this shit called? Once you're done putting the pins and like having it all secured, then we're gonna be stitching a straight line all the way up this. And then once I'm done pinning it, uh, we're gonna get to the sewing machine, and then I'm gonna show you how to show y'all what y'all need to sew, and then we're gonna be good. But yeah. All right, y'all. So when y'all got it all pinned up. Basically, all you're gonna wanna do is sew it just straight down all the way until the end of your flare. I'm trying to get it in the camera. But all the way to like the end of your flare. And then, yeah, it's pretty simple. So, let's get started. I'm probably gonna like fast forward this, so. See y'all when I'm done. Alright y'all now, oh wait my camera like kinda, there we go. Alright y'all now that we are done, well, you know what I'm saying, both types of the jeans, you feel me? Now I'm gonna add a little little bit of extra little, you know, a little sauce. Um, so what you're gonna need, you're gonna need paint. You can use any color paint, you know, you don't gotta use white, but I'm gonna be using white paint. Uh, any, um, uh, what the fuck is it called? I about to say toothbrush, uh, paintbrush. <laughs> Any type of paintbrush, or I suggest like a one with like some long bristles so you could. But yeah, that's what you're gonna be doing. You'll be flicking the paint to get that paint splatter and then some obviously to put the paint on. So, I'm about to go splat these paint. Whoa. I'm about to go. <laughs> I'm about to go put this paint on these pants. So, we'll be right back. Alright y'all, we're in the infamous backyard. I got my pants set up. That sounds so weird, but to put this on there, so just gonna get the paint. You know what I'm saying? And then you know, and you just gonna flick. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll get these little little dots, and then you're gonna put however much you you're gonna want. And then, yeah, so when I'm done with this, I'll give y'all B-roll, and I'll get back to y'all. Alright man, that will be the end of this uh, tutorial. I hope y'all did enjoy this video. Um, if you guys have any other questions or anything about how to make the pants, uh, just drop some comments down below. I will make sure to answer all of them. Uh, so I tell you, I love y'all, man. Uh, we on the road to 1K. I feel like I should have been hit it, but you know, it's my bad. I'm really inconsistent. I'm trying to work on that. But uh, you know, if you, if you stayed this long, just know I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, and if you are still here, you should subscribe if you're not already. But uh, yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.